Welcome to Tai Chi. Everybody ready? Let's warm up. Hands at our waist. Turn your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. Stretch out those arms. Make your hips and waist do all the work. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Airplane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Touch toe. One. Two. Touch your legs when the upbeat. Go down, touch. Come up, touch. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift your weight, kick your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heisman, opening up our span. Do it well. 
Choose one side, good Tai Chi posture, stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift weight, one, two, three, four, five. Other way, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. After the holidays, now we have to turn a new leaf. So everything we do has to be kicked up a notch, starting with golden cockle. Okay, opening up your span, growing a little taller. Shift weight, up, down. Kicking out. Follow your kick with your hand, follow it with your eyes. Our ball. Good energy stored in the back. Out into the side, quite the wild horse's wing. A good stretch, the Tai Chi posture. Sit back lower, pivot, center, L. Good, good stretch, good Tai Chi posture. Sit back lower, pivot, parallel higher. Brush your knee. The wild horses meet. Part the wild horse's mane. Loud hands. Use your hips and waist. Please 
that lift. back lower. Okay, so I kind of gave it a lot of thought and um, this is what I would like to do today. I would like to um, concentrate mainly on using your mental faculties rather than force. Using, thinking through our movements mentally and not using force. So all of you may be saying, well, I never use force. But I think force has to be taken in another, another vein. Force meaning lessen the, lessen the final movement by allowing your thinking process to come through. So we want to get out there, but we do not have to use the force, physically use the force, but instead use the mind to say, I can get there. Very different. If you can follow me and you can think clearly what I just proposed to you, your Tai Chi will feel better and it will be closer to the Tai Chi that we want to establish. So let me reword it. If I were to ward off, and you know ward off is like a, a strong martial, uh, martial arts intent where we're pushing our opponent away, you say, I don't use force. But what you say to yourself now is mentally think through what you're doing. So I'm thinking through what I'm doing. I'm visualizing. I'm not using force, but I am emphasizing by thinking through the process. Okay? Those are only a small examples, but the small examples for me go a long ways because the mind has to be disciplined to really focus on the thinking process. I can't do it for you, okay? But I think if you can discipline yourself and say the habit that I want to create now is to take upon the, one of the 10 essential, uh, essentials of Tai Chi to say that our movements are dictated by our mind and not through the force 
or the positioning of where we put our arms or hands. Okay? So what I want to do is apply it to the 16, okay? So we're going to come from scratch now, okay? Like I, I started to do in previous classes. So good Tai Chi posture, okay? And grow through your spine. Tip your chin down. When we commence, we relax our knees. 50, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Rotate. Take a deep breath in as you elevate. Flex your knees. Drop your shoulders. Drop your wrists. Drop your elbows. Root down on the right. Give it all its weight. Form your ball on a T. Good Tai Chi posture, spine straight. Use that energy by stepping out on an L, parting the wild, horse's mane, good, a good stretch. Offer that snack rather than keeping it towards your body or your face. Sit back. Are you lowering? Pivot out. Better balance on a T, on a holding your ball. Move out into an L. Here it is. Half step forward, hold your ball. Okay, try to keep with what I'm saying. Sit back on the back foot. Look at that left hand as it rises. Set it down. White crane spreads its wings on its toes. Weight on the back. I should see that flexed up the knee. Okay, because the weight is stored there. Drop your front foot. Bisect. Make sure it comes down beyond your navel. Look back as you swirl to your left, parallel higher. Lift up the front foot on its heel. Turn, brush knee. Good stretch, 50-50. Sit back, lower. Pivot out. Where are your spirals? Par parallel higher. Ear, heel, toe, brush knee. Two. Sit back, lower, pivot out, fist the right hand, left hand higher, down, up, heel, deflect to the right, parry, heel out, punch. Touch, open the fingers, shoulder width, roll back, lower. Power up, power forward. Pivot in the back. The hand follows, pivot on the front. Hook and look. T across the face out, turn the palms out. Single whip. Half step, swirl the back hand. Left hand comes closer to your waist. Spirals out on a rocking of the front. Setting down on a, playing the lute. Weight on the back. Pivot, uh, drop the front foot, center the front hand, look. Lift up, ear, toe, heel, repulse of the monkey. Acknowledge that center. Center, look, lift up, repulse of the monkey, two. Draw back. Pivot front. Pirouette back, spin out, reposition to hold your ball, heel out on an L, left hand above your face, turn the hips and waist, shuttles left. Sit back, lower, pivot in, hold your ball, pivot out on an L, right hand above your head, turn the hips and waist, shuttle right. Half step to the back, right hand across the hips and waist down to the bottom of the C on an angle. One hand, two hands, touch, lift, flash arms like a fan. Sit back, lower, pivot 12 o'clock, pivot out 9 o'clock, middle. Three o'clock, flip the hands, join the feet. Middle cup, use your hips and waist. 
Flip open, middle. Close the stance, hold your ball out onto the side. Push them away. Turn hips and waist, hands go for the ride. Reposition, sit down, lower, look back. Contact, turn, middle of the body, push, separate, roll back. Energy up, energy out. Sit back, lower, pivot. Right hand on the top, T stance. Out to the side, push them away. Turn hips and waist, reposition hands. Sit down, lower, look back, contact. Turn, push, separate, roll back. Roll forward, no force. Sit down. Lower, hands go for the ride. Are they? Turn, embrace, pushing him closer to your body. Use your core to separate and push out. How do your hands go for the ride? Drop your shoulders, flex your knees, tuck your elbows, wrists down. Then close your form. Okay, so now your turn to watch. Okay, your turn to watch to pick up something that you feel that um, you can improve on. Okay? So we're focusing on using your mind, thinking it through, never your force.
um, try not to stop at the end of a movement. And I try to go slower during the movement so that I can not stop at the end of it and just go right into the next one, you know, really smoothly. So try to do that. So, good one. And one of the uh, essential elements is continuity. Okay, you don't want to stop. But the power of the mind can play very strongly in there, so it fell right into our focus today where you can use your mind to drive your forces. Thank you. I tried to concentrate on the less, less dominant hand and know where it's supposed to be instead of only the dominant hand and then try to use the spirals as much as I could. Good job. So very good because sometimes we always forget about that uh, non-dominant hand. Uh, I was uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, doing, trying to think about the same thing as Nathan and not stopping, continuous movement. So to do that, you need to go slower. Very good. And power of the mind. I, I've been taking it for a while, so I have to concentrate on the 16 instead of the 24 and think of the next movement very carefully. I think I finally understood about the, the hand scope of the right. That's a really an aha, and so keep that feeling and that sensation, understanding, and apply it. Good job. Comment. <laughs> well, like everybody was saying, I had trouble um, transis transitioning from one movement to the other movement, and my hands seemed to be going the other way. To make it smoother and go the right way, then you're going to have to take it. This thing is not from the 24, so I think people 16, I mean 24 way, and everybody's going the other way. So good job, you're going to have to really challenge yourself to turn that around. Focusing on where the energy is building up and not getting ahead of it, letting it flow through. Very good. For a newcomer, that's pretty powerful. I specifically have to work on maiden works or shuttle and turning my waist more. Okay. And we can probably go over that too. Trying to be aware that for each movement, it's, it's the whole body, the legs to the core that initiates the movement. Okay. And that's good. A 10 essential element there using your whole body, being a whole person than a piecemeal. Difficulty in being fluid, going through the motion into the next one. It's very jerky when you need a lot of practice. Yeah. Okay. And so let me give you a hint that you can use your power of your mind. I know your mind is really, really sharp. So apply your mind to help you think through the process and make that flow a little better. Okay? Good. I enjoyed it very much, but I think I need to work on not being distracted even for a second as to whether I'm in sync with the others. I don't know whether I'm supposed to do that or not, but I, I have to cut that out, I think. So distractions are always a problem for even me. And I, if I um, distract you, that applies to you. But Tai Chi being a discipline, and here again, the mind, focus on the mind, keep your mind focused, I think that's really good. But good, thanks for sharing. I've been trying to think of the next uh, sequence of movements when before I reach the point of doing this next sequence. So I, when I'm in one sequence, I'm trying to think, oh, okay, what's the next one before I actually execute that? Okay. So thanks for sharing, being so honest, and I do that too. But if you really use the power of your mind to think through all that you're doing, you're laying the groundwork for the next movement. So if you can use your mind, rely on your mind to completely, thoroughly, patiently go through the moment at the time you're doing it, it'll automatically get into that. But it's just that confidence that you need but with everything else, it's a habit. Good one. 
I, I always try to be as smooth and graceful as possible, um, but in my effort to do that, I forget to actually shift my weight. So sometimes I think I sprain my own ankles and stuff um, because I didn't quite move all my weight to the to that main main foot um, and before starting uh, the next move. That's also a really good one. So storing your weight, storing and collecting your energy before you dispense it. If you don't have that energy stored correctly or totally, you're not going to have that energy to advance to the next movement. So good one. Thanks. I think I have a lot to work on. Looking at the tapes, I always think, okay, I've done a little better on my posture. As we get older, we tend to lean forward, and that's what I'm trying to work on. And I always think, where is my core? You know, I always forget where, how do you stand to get the core? That's one of the things I think I should be more aware of. And I can say ditto to that, too, because I look at myself and I said, wow, I've got rounded shoulders and, you know, not a, a growing up on my spine. Stands walking away. What does that mean? It means that I agree with everybody and I can't add anything else to what they all said. Thank you. I'm always, always concentrating on my dynamic balance. And when I lose my balance, I try to take note of it and when I go home, I'm trying to figure out why I lost my balance. So I'm looking for consistency in the movement, not Oh, I got it today, and I got it. You have to still work on it. Very, very nice to hear all of it, and to end with such a powerful one, where you're actually studying and evaluating your um, your own system. I'm concentrating on keeping my balance on every movement. I have a hard time concentrating to keep my balance all the time. Yeah. You know, you're doing a good job, so. You know, thanks for sharing.
I just want to say, I appreciated what you did. And what I saw was people went a little bit slower, but certainly a heck of a lot smoother. And that's what I think when you start to use your mind, David sort of hit on to it. That is, you know, you start to think about the next one and the next one, but really what I think is the most important thing is you, when you use your mind as you do it, you're not worried so much about where your hands and your arms are supposed to be necessarily. You're thinking in terms of what is my body giving back to me as input and you become more appreciative, I think, of what you are doing. Not that I'm grasping the bird's tail or not that I'm, I'm uh, doing cloud hands, but you get signals and I don't know how to put it other than you become, a, I think, a lot more aware of your body, how it's moving. And I think that's, that's one of the, the, the things where, you know, they talk about Tai Chi being an internal martial art. It's all up in here as to what is going on. You appreciate what is going around in your body, you appreciate that I, like some of you say, I feel my body is not quite in balance. And then also, you also think about what's in, what's in the sequence of the movement. As you're doing it, you get an appreciation. That's what I, I, I at least I thought I heard and what I saw. It was very good.